Veterans in Albuquerque who run into trouble with the law face a new kind of consequence. They're ordered to dog training to help turn their lives around. I got in trouble because of it. Trouble, Vietnam veteran Stephen Cervantes blames on his PTSD. It landed him in Albuquerque's Veterans Court, where he was ordered to find help in an unusual way. Mary, let's go. This is Marianne. I've been working with her and she does very well. I want you to talk to your dog. For the past year, Veterans Court has been teaming up with Assistance Dogs of the West, or ADW. They learn how to train service dogs for other community members and other veterans. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. They're training dogs that will help future owners with everything from seizures, diabetes, physical disabilities, PTSD, even some that will go on to serve our country. He's been trained by a veteran and he is going to be going and working at, for the FBI. I look forward to it, to coming over here every Monday. The veterans meet every week at the Army National Guard Armory. ADW founder Jill Felice says she sees a difference in the veterans after they work with the dogs. They get to read a lot of the social cues off the dogs that lets them know that they're safe. <laughs> the group even took a trip to the noisy state fair, something most people with PTSD would never do. The guys were at ease with it because they had a friendly little a friendly little being next to them telling them that you know what the world's really okay right now. The dog uh, it like changes my thing the way I feel about stuff around me. Cervantes says without the program he would likely be in trouble again. I wouldn't be out here you know like I am you know I'd, I could be up there you know up on top of the hill at the incarcerated. It's not just veterans helping train the service dogs. They'll look at you and it'll take them a minute, but you can see them working it out and then they'll do it. And you're like, where did that come from? Okay. Cooper. High school freshman Bridget Simpson has been training yes. dogs since she was eight years old. ADW works with two Santa Fe schools where Cooper. kids can train the dogs as one of their classes. There's also after school and summer programs. Some of the dogs will then go to work at the courthouse, helping young kids feel safe after they're victims of crimes.